Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Happy Sunday. Happy whatever day you're watching this. And I thought for today's video I would just bring it down a notch, right? And it was kind of, I mean, this thing at the mini in my life that a lot of things are changing quite drastically, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea where I'm standing, right? I'm sitting here recording this but everything else is absolutely chaotic i need a drink one moment this is probably a great time to mention i'm going to be that typical youtuber grab yourself a drink grab yourself a snack whatever but i've got my cup of tea in this like little glass travel thing um it's just got coffee time on it but of course um i've got a cup of tea um, and the reason why i'm drinking out of this is because my cups are packed away but anyway so a lot of things are just going off and today i needed to go out i needed some black shoes really important because in the next few days i'm starting an absolute you know a new adventure which i'll get on to but it was kind of one of them so we kind of discovered that me and chris we don't really like going into like town center so to speak so those are local to me and we have wolverhampton city center now i'll tell you what literally we could walk it where we are and um we just i just we just don't like it it's it's just it's just not our vibe i think town centers again i'm talking about the west midlands here like dudley town center canic town center you know <sighs> so we were thinking where can we go uh that doesn't involve that so I kind of wanted some really comfortable shoes and we was looking at some investment type shoes and I am talking about Skechers. Never owned a pair of Skechers ever but Chris has and we was like where can we go and I've never even known about this place and I feel silly because probably a lot of locals to me will probably be like how have you never heard of this place but if I've remembered correctly it's something called Mc McGreg designer outlet oh my goodness me i mean what i'll do is i'll put a name out of what it's called i feel terrible if i've got it completely wrong but it is in canic and i'm gonna be honest it's lovely i mean if you like designer like wear if you like that is perfect i mean we don't or i don't dress head to toe in designer wear i mean i love a bit of george home in asda you know sainsbury's you know there are some very nice designer items that you can get um so we kind of went there this is the longest intro ever but we went there and it turned out to be really nice it was quiet and i picked up some few little bits more than what i anticipated but i did get some shoes and i thought you know what I, you, you're lucky because i wasn't even going to put a video out today but I, it just wouldn't have felt right today not to kind of just share you know you come along here spend a few minutes with me and you know we'll get on with it but i did show a bit of where we went and we had something to eat so it's going to be a quick couple of minutes if you really want to i'm going to push those videos right here and you can watch basically what we've got up to and you'll join me in um, a couple of moments or i'll see you in a minute well guys i could not be more further from the truth than what this place was called mc greg i mean what um yeah so it's mc arthur glenn designer outlet and this is all the shops it's very like american if you like we went in sketches got my shoes come out and this is what you know showing my bag but this is where we come across the beauty shop the beauty outlet so i went into there there was kate spade and i've heard a lot about that actually and there's the big clock and there's a little coffee shop reminding me very much of like friends um i mean just it's really beautiful and the sun did shine you got you go boss there um again showing my bags i felt very posh and then of course the lint shop so we went into there and of course had to show you around this is what i was on about you can pick your own chocolates i mean fantastic and there's Chris kindly holding the bag so I can pick whatever I want. And a popcorn, what? 
So after here and going into Haribo shop, we did stop and have some food. The one thing that me and Chris did agree on is that the UK, let's be honest, can't do American food as good. It's just, it ain't great. This wasn't good, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Right, so we just tried this new restaurant and it's called Slim Chickens. You can take away or eat in. And I thought I'd show you what we got. So we got some, what fried pickles? Fried pickles yeah. It's like an American oh, place, isn't it? I've got, these are just separate for Isabel, but I've got some as part of my meal as well. Mm, nice. Now we've got like these little sauces. We've got like ranch, gravy mayo. Definitely got to have some of that. Whoop, whoop. Wow. So I believe that is my meal. The five chicken wings, five tenders. I didn't know you get the, the toast. Texas toast as no, well. No, yeah. I just opened mine. I went for the honey barbecue sandwich, the fries, look at them, and this is the honey barbecue sandwich, doesn't look appetising, but you know, cheeky. So yeah, you know, it was really nice, it was very American, um, and it definitely reminded us of the shopping village that we go to in Fleetwood, Blackpool. It just reminded us of that, and knowing that that is local, it's about 30 minutes from me, um, sort of local, which is really nice. Not fully our cup of tea, but it was a nice little walk around, um, regardless. But anyway, I picked up a few bits and I thought I'm going to have to show you. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll show you after I've had just a swig of my cup of tea. So what I'm going to do, oh, what am I going to do? Right, what I'm going to do, right, let, let's start. I'm going to show you one of these. So they had a Yankee Candle shop, which is all oh, lovely. I just love it because like, there's just so many little discounts and they had a lot of Christmas. So again, if you are local, I'm really sorry if you're not from where I am. But if you are local, um, they had a lot of reduced can Yankee Candle and um, Christmas box sets. Some of them were like 7 99 Really, really lovely. So if you've got some Christmas presents and you start early, I definitely recommend going to that outlet. But there was only one thing that I picked up and Chris noticed it and I thought it was really, really cute. I just love the little bag. And um, let's open it. So again, this is part of like their Christmas range, if you like. So it's packaged really lovely. Look at that. You know, per is that the right way? Now this is the right way. Package really beautiful, you know, if you've got some credit Christmas presents. Um, but it's these three little candles and that was 7 99 um but i absolutely loved it i think it's a beautiful little present um so inside here we've got holiday zest white spruce and grapefruit and silver sage and pine but what i loved about it is because they're just tiny i just think it's cute so can i get them out there oh it's a shame to ruin them are they just like little ones like that oh so cute oh christmasy and then we've got white spruce and grapefruit nice and subtle but i've got that grape so it's not like in your face do you want to smell do you want to smell and then of course the holiday zest yeah smells pretty much like this one really love that so yeah like i said lots of little deals let's put them to the side it was a shame to um, burn them another thing i've had to get my ring light it's absolutely pitch black it's only half past six but it's pitch black outside because this is what it's like without it and that a good look is it so i've got to put it on uh is that the right setting that's what i got from yankee candle um then they had another little shop which is called the beauty outlet lots of little discounts so like things like rimmel london uh, maybelline all those different brands so what i picked up from there was a brush but to me you know they all work the same to me anyway um, but whilst I'm showing you these, so like, how am you everybody, you know, let me know in the comments below. How hey, am yeah, I hope you're all alright, wherever you go. I love it, because every time everyone, anyone comments, um, you're just all over the place. Like, I've got some from Liverpool, Essex, and it's just like, 
you know what I mean? It's, look, it's just all brilliant. This is the brush. I mean, it's probably not the best of brushes, but I just needed a new one. And this weekend, I'm going to make a conscious effort to clean my brushes because I'm going to be putting makeup on more often. I got myself a little brush. Um, that was $1.99. Um, I just needed one to put in like my handbag. So like throughout the day, I can just like, you know, spruce myself up a bit. A sharpener for like my eyebrow pencil. That was like 99p. Uh, a lot of Revolution items. So I've got this Revolution Pro. I have no idea what it is. It's a brow volume and sculpt gel. I think it's all right to give it a bit of a try. And then I did get another one, another thing, should I say. And that was Brightening and Tightening Illumia Illuminating concealer i'm just opening this oh okay oh i think that's gonna be a bit light i did get it's called warm brain oh well you know it did cost me an arm and a leg it's all right let's calm down this one was ivory this is probably not fascinating at all i'm always on the lookout for affordable concealers because um you know, they can be expensive, but you want a good one at the same time. Oh, so it's the one that you, you pump it up like, it's like an injection or something. It's coming out. That should be all right, though. I mean, it buffs into the skin all right. We'll test that out tomorrow. One of the other shops that we went into was the Harry Bow shop. I mean, really not interesting, but we had to go in anyway. We just picked up some sweet treats. We got these ones, which are soda twists. Uh, these ones are for me, 100%. Another one of these, which is bubblegum bottles. Like I said at the beginning of the video, um, there was a lint shop, a lint chocolate shop, and it was amazing because you could select anything you want, but you could also have like a little bag and then collect whatever chocolates you want. Um, so we picked up one of these like bags and we had loads of chocolates. So we literally chose whatever we wanted and like I love lint chocolate. I mean they got the little hearts, beautiful. Um, of course the bears that you literally see everywhere but yeah just loads of like beautiful flavors and i got a mint one which is for the purpose of this video i am going to take a bite of this because i need to <laughs> One of the other things um, that I went for in the first place was some shoes and I got some, they come in this really lovely like reusable bag, um, Sketches. I don't think, if I'm correct in saying so, I don't think we paid for the bag. No, we did pay for the bag, which is really nice. They kind of give you this complimentary um, on machining. Um, so I thought I would show you the shoes that I got. It comes in this box. I tried them on and everything. So I just got these um, really boring type shoes. If you can see properly, it's got like the little um, logo there. And yeah, like a really basic black shoe. Um, but I just really wanted them to be... I just wanted a comfortable shoe. I'm going to be on my feet most of the day. Um, hopefully they do what they're meant to do. So, um, of course, I've got two black shoes. They just look like you got them, you got them from Asda. Don't like they do look like they just got them from Asda. Um, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. It's, it's just solely for the comfort. And that's what I got them for. And it was really nice on as well. Let me just get comfortable. Um... The reason why this is all going on and I've had to get some shoes, um, most expensive shoes I've probably spent on myself, especially for where I'm going, um, I kind of made the decision a few, um, if I bring it down a little bit, um, I kind of made the decision um, a few months ago that I was not happy uh, where I was, my confidence was just you know it's been low for quite some time um and 
of course I think there are some things that you know are pretty much out of your control like no matter what you do and it's just really hard to get out of it but there are some things that you know you can look at to change um, and one of them is where I work basically um so not in terms of the company or anything like that because I still work with the same people um in terms of company but I am moving to a new role um so that entails me being with people so I'm no longer going to be working from home which is crazy like it was it literally happened a few days ago where um I had to like hand everything in like I no longer have my desk I got rid of it I no longer have my laptop and all my setup that I have had for like two like two and a half or it's nearly coming up to three years and um, where I have been in this room and um, it was like an absolute dumping ground at the beginning I painted it you know it just became work and home and you know I've had a lot of ups and downs um you know with my mental health and and I thought well if there's an opportunity there where I can still do the same thing but go in a different role it's really hard because I don't I don't want to go into what I'm doing or anything because that would be really bad um but in terms of basically what I'm doing now is a little bit different, a different role, but I'm going to be in an environment with other colleagues and therefore I've got to get some new shoes um, and I'll have a uniform and everything. It's just crazy and there is all the things going on and in the next few videos I will explain that as well. So I do apologise but I don't want to say more in case things don't happen the way it needs to and I've just blurted it out. I mean I'm not really telling you a fat lot, it's just my life is that like, is a personal thing, it's changing and I'm not going to be at home, it's very scary and again that sounds a little bit weird you know some people will be like what are you on about you're just going into work um but you know when you haven't been with anyone for nearly three years you kind of get used to not working with people you are literally a robot so to speak and i think that's kind of although i'm very scared about going into an environment you know having to change my habits um i can't be pajamas and have cups of titties when i want it's just something i know that i needed i needed this for me and I, I don't think that's too much to share i just think you know anyone's out there who's had to work from home it's a very big privilege in my opinion um but for some people you know it does take a toll and a lot of people have gone back to work and they have to go into office but again i've been very privileged to be able to remain at home but no longer i am going into an environment with other people but i've had a very warm welcome so far hopefully on my first day i'll be okay and of course when you're watching this um i'll be nervous as anything okay i probably won't eat my sunday dinner so yeah so that does lead on to so um for the beginning of my time i'm not going to be in any kind of uniform i will need to go into some smart wear so thankfully i've already got some black trousers and i thought you know what i definitely want to go and get myself just a couple of blouses just to tide me over um so they have got so i went in asda basically um some really cute bits i'm going sidetracked but they have some beautiful new bits and very autumnal wear probably been in for a long time but just proves that I don't really get out a lot and um, I wanted everything um, but there was this like top if you like probably isn't doing it justice here and um, on camera the print's not going to be brilliant but it's basically just like this peplum type tee or top and um, I got it in a really oversized just so I'm really comfortable and that was if you can see there it was 10 pounds really oversized probably going to be a little bit big 
Oh dear, I'm going to have to try that on just in case I need to take it back. But I just wanted it really oversized because, you know, I'm so used to being very comfortable during the day and it's not going to be the case anymore. Um, but yeah, it's like a peplum top, but it's still smart, smart with some black trousers and the new shoes. And then I noticed this kind of tight blouse as well. So it's again... um. It's like a peplum type. I mean, I'm not doing it any justice, but it's like a peplum type. If I bring it in, it's like got the hem there. Comes down like this by the neck. This was £14. It comes like three quarters, so that's like the sleeve. But I thought with some black trousers again, um, you know, hopefully that I'll do that a bit of justice. I got some black card again, you know, it's just a bit of smart wear. It looks really out there on camera, but honestly, I do like it in person. It's very, very nice. And again, I've got that sort of oversize, so I can just feel really comfortable. And then I just picked up a pack of two t-shirts. I thought I'd show that. One's black and uh, one's a white one, because you can't beat a bit of basic. Not bad, actually. You get two t-shirts for seven seven fifty so that's what i got there and then i got some footsie socks from asda they were a fiver for a pack of three probably cheaper in primark but i wasn't anywhere near one and then i just got myself a hair dye ready for then i, I normally just go for dark brown to be honest and um, my hair probably looks a lot darker on here but i do just go for a dark brown um so that's what i got all ready for monday I've spoke for a very long time. But that's essentially what I got from today. Spent a little bit too much for me anyway. But it's really important that I have a really easy transition. Um, it sounds really dramatic. It really does. Um, but it's terrifying. You know, I'm leaving my safe zone. Um, I haven't worked in a public environment since... April 2020 so you know you can just imagine what I'm going through it's, this is like a real big message to anyone that's watching this video um, if you've got this far that if you're struggling at the moment and you feel like you can't achieve anything just now that even the smallest step to where you think you want to be where you want like really want to be or even just be like you know what it's not about everybody else this is about me like this thing what i'm doing here it wasn't about anybody else it was about me and making taking that control of my mental health and just be like look enough's enough of feeling like that can i do something different um that's going to improve that very scary what i'm doing but i know um I'm just going to be positive about it. So this is my kind of push to you to be brave, have a bit of courage and have some faith in yourself. And make sure you don't stop having cups of teas out your chucky bar, whatever you want, life's too short. Cheers to that. But yeah, that is pretty much it. That is my day to day. Really happy with everything I've got. I'm probably repeating myself because uh, I've just really loved chatting be really nice i haven't really chatted like this since um, a little bit on holiday but even then you know i don't really chat a lot but yeah thanks so much for watching guys i really do appreciate it um send some love send some good luck to me because i'm gonna need it today especially tonight because i ain't sleeping and i will see you in my next video there will be another update another big update and i'm, I'm gonna definitely share that one with you um yeah and I'll see ya very, very soon. Clara B. Line like a ride, but take your stuff back.